Hey everyone, guess what? I finally found a laser trading target that doesn't suck. So yeah, laser time, right? The steel time product here, this, this is, so laser light is again, one of these sort of inexpensive laser trainers. Almost, if you see any of their promo videos, they're almost kind of hokey, folksy, like it's a fun game more than a training solution. And that's fine. You know, everyone has a good time. You make your own little shooting gallery in your den or whatever, as they show. But this is, by and large, the easiest to use and most reliable solution I found to go with, you know, kind of the, the little laser cartridge training option. Technology, same thing as you've seen on these other products, right? It, this is just an, an optical sensor, a light sensor. It doesn't need to be laser, like any, you know, just my studio light is enough to set this off, right? But... It's designed with this nice kind of red filter, which softens and directs the laser hit in a way that makes it pretty reliable, but doesn't get set off too much by ambient lighting once you have it set up in a fixed position. This is a hoot, man. And for, again, as silly as the laser gong sound is, because it's like you're ringing steel, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty fun. Like, that's, that's, I like it. I like that I can hear it as well as see it. Of all the targets I've tried, I think it's cool. Uh, let's see what this looks like on the bookshelf. All right, let's see from across the room how this works. Perfect in the middle on the edges. Let's try to hit the edge here. How about further out? Yeah. Let's try to hit way off the bottom here. Just a little low. Yeah. And of course, dead nuts in the middle. I like it. Try to back off even further, going way down to the stairwell here. So we've got our 38 laser module. I made a little addition. Made a little cutout notch for it. And I gotta say, this absolutely makes the lever gun on more of a hoot. Go ahead and put that in there, directly aligned with your extractor, so you're not going to extract. An interesting problem that sometimes comes up when you're hanging out in camp and you've either limited for the day or you haven't hit shit. I'm not saying who among us has done which, but if you ever just want to kind of sit and plink, you know, it's, we don't want to freaking be bad neighbors. We don't want to scare off the bucks. You don't want to do anything you can't do. Now, you can't just let loose with lead, but remember those laser arms, right? Remember the laser cartridges. This is one of those times when you're in camp, and if you have one of those set up, it is a pretty good way to get to hang out with folk, not make a lot of noise, but still get a little bit of plinking in. Let's see how this works. So there you go. A relatively safe, relatively quiet way that you can still get in some trigger time after last shooting light. I mean, that's as simple as it gets. I've put this through its paces a few different ways. I've tried it with all different laser cartridges and it seems to work. It seems to work reliably. I think I'm gonna try to incorporate this in some of the dry fire drills and the at-home laser practice that I wanna do. And the fact that it's fun is definitely encouraging me to do it more. I will say this. I will say that the gong sound, while awesome, is a little loud. 
So I went ahead and decided to tone that down a bit. Uh, if you're not familiar with doing this, with you can do this with all kinds of toys and electronic things that have a speaker on them. If anything makes sound, uh, we're coming up on the holiday season, right? If any of you have kids in your life and they get a little kid's toy that has some kind of beepity boopity bloppity speaker, any speaker like that is just taking, you know, an electronic impulse from the circuit board, right? And it takes that impulse and plays sound. You can drop an inline resistor. Um, I used, you know, I would say between 100 and 200 ohms is a pretty good amount. I had a 330 ohm resistor sitting around, so that's what I used on this one. And you can see it's not that hard. The hardest thing was just getting everything in place, and Tara helped hold things steady so I could solder it on. Uh, be a little more sticktivity on those wires. Put a heat shrink around it so it didn't short anything out. Put it back together. And now uh, we have these two little steel gong targets, right? But... Comparing the volume there, right, you've got clang and, you hear that? So this one, if I do in fact go kind of, you know, in a hotel room somewhere, if I'm keeping this in my travel pistol bag and I'm trying to set up steel in a hotel room and, you know, don't want anyone to hear, you know, what's going on in that room next door? That is way more reasonable than, you know, sitting, yeah. So, little tip from me to you, if you do wind up getting these, you can turn the volume down just a little bit. But I, I definitely think they're fun one way or another. So, well done. Uh, well done, laser light. I like it. I'll report back in the future if these wind up being crappy, but this definitely works for me. Stay safe out there.